Here's such a nice looking geometric problem. If you want to solve this problem, please pause the video because I'm going to solve this problem right now. So what is the area of this n circle? We have a big square here. We have another square inscribed inside with an area of 100 square units in a tilted or canted way. Here we have a right triangle with an area of 24 square units. So what is the area of this n circle or inscribed circle inside this triangle? The first thing that comes to mind is the area or the radius of any inscribed circle in any triangle. So uh, for any triangle, for any triangle, the, the radius or in radius of this inscribed circle equals area over the semi-parameter. So semi-parameter is A plus B plus C over two, and area is just the area of any triangle. So if we divide these two values, uh, then we'll find the in, the in radius. But here, there, this is a special case, right? Because this is a right triangle. For right triangles, the in radius, or radius of the inscribed circle is A plus B minus C over two. So A and B are the right legs, but C is the hypotenuse. So A plus B minus C over two. So we have these two relationships. Let me write it down just on the top right corner. This is just for A plus B minus C over two. This is just for the right triangle. This is for general any triangle. This is just for right triangles. So in order to find out the radius, we need to find A, all, all the sides, right? A plus B minus C. So from these three sides, we just have the C because C is the hypotenuse, right? We know that the area of this biggest square is 100 square units. So it means that the side is square root of 100 units, which is just 10 units. So we just have the C. But what is A plus B? So uh, at first, we need to kind of prove that these triangles, these four right triangles are congruent or they, they are similar anyway, so that we can kind of find a way to draw some relationships. So they look congruent, but let's find out a way to, to prove that. So for example, imagine this angle is alpha, right? For example, just name this angle as alpha. Then this angle, we name it as beta. So alpha plus beta equals 90 degrees, right? Based on this straight line, and we have a right, tri right angle here. So a straight line has a degree, an angle of 180 degrees. So if this is 90 degrees, then these two angles must also be 90 degrees. So we name this one as alpha. So we know that alpha plus beta is 90 degrees. And we know that alpha plus something is 90 degrees. So this something, this angle, it must be beta. So if this is beta, then using a reverse method, this is alpha. Then this is beta. Then this is alpha. Then this is beta. Then this is alpha. Then this is beta. So we, we can conclude that all of these four triangles, they are not only similar, but congruent. It means that they are literally the same because they have a shared hypotenuse here. So angle, angle, and side, or angle, side, angle. So it means that this triangle, all of them, they have an area of 24. So 24, 24, 24, 24, and 100. So let's write down the Pythagoras theorem for finding out the value of a plus b. So if you find out the value of a plus b, then okay, we can uh, find the radius and finally the area. So according to all of these triangles, so let's name this side as a and this side as b. So we know that a squared, according to Pythagoras theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, right? So a squared plus b squared equals c squared, which is 100. So we need to find the value of a plus b, but let's use this famous identity, a plus b squared. So a plus b squared is a squared plus b squared plus 
a b right so we have a squared and plus b squared which is uh 100 right but what is the value of a b and a 2 a b so if you take a look at this triangle or all of these triangles the area of this triangle is 24 square units so area of triangle equals a times b over 2. So a times b in this triangle over 2 equals 24. It means that a b equals 48. So we found the value of a b using the area of this triangle. So then we can substitute it here. So we know that a b is 48. So in other words, let's just substitute it here. So a plus b, a2, a squared plus uh, b squared is 100 plus 2ab. So ab was 48, right, in the previous step. 2ab is 96. So that's 196 a plus b squared. If we take the square root from both sides, so we can say that a plus b equals a square root 90, 196 or 14. So this is the value of a plus b, 14, and now we can substitute it in our original formula on the top right corner. So the radius equals a plus b, which is 14 minus C, which is 10 over 2. So 14 minus 10 is 4 over 2, it is 2. So that's the radius of this circle. And the area of the circle is pi r squared or 4 pi. So that's the final answer. But I'm going to show you another way so to find out the value of A plus B. So we found it using this identity a plus b squared, but let's think about a more intuitive way. So the area of this whole big large square is 100 plus 24 plus 24 plus 24 plus 24, or 100 plus 96, right? So that's 196. The area, the total area of the big square is 196. It means that the side of the big square is square root of uh, 196, which is 14, right? So this is the side of the biggest square, and this is a faster way. And we know that the side of the biggest square is comprised of the, the, the longer and the shorter leg of this triangle. So it comprised of A plus B a plus b and, and b plus a and b plus a. So that's the same thing. We know that we can just quickly conclude that a plus b is the same thing as the side of this big square here. So a plus b is just 14. That's also a very, very fast way. So 14 minus 10 over two, that's the radius. So this was a special case. Maybe some students don't know this special case for right triangles. But even using the main formulas, I don't recommend you to memorize all these special case formulas. So you just need to, to memorize and learn you are supposed to know the formula for general cases. So their formula for the in radius equals area of the triangle over the semi-parameter of the triangle. So let's also calculate it using this area, this formula. So radius equals area of the triangle. So area of the triangle here is 24 because we proved that all these triangles are congruent. So 24 over the semi-parameter. So semi-parameter is A plus B, which I, we found it, 14, plus C, which is 10, the hypotenuse here, over 2. So it means that uh, 40, 8 over 24, which is 2. So that's also very, very simple and easy, and you, you don't need, you, you don't have to learn and memorize all these special cases. So the, the final answer of the area of the circle is just 4 
pi. And that's going to wrap it up for today. But I'm sure that's not the only way. There are numerous and countless other geometric approaches for finding this one. So please make sure to share your thoughts and answers in the comments below. I'm really interested in knowing which method you use for proving and finding and calculating this area for this uh, in circle. Uh, and make sure to, to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Prime Logic signing out.